Sing a Song, How Lift Every Voice and Sing, Inspire Generations by Kelly Starling Lyons, illustrated by Keith Mallett. Before you were born, a girl learned a song. Her principal, James Weldon Johnson, and his brother, John Rosman Johnson, had written the hymn for a celebration of President Abraham Lincoln's birthday. The girl wanted to make them proud. She hummed the song on her way home from school. She practiced it as she did her chores. On the big day, February 12, 1900, she was a part of a choir, 500 strong. Back straight, head high, heart and mouth wide open, she sang, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. And she kept on singing as she grew up. She taught it to her students when she became a teacher, and she sang it to her husband as they journeyed from Jacksonville, Florida, to a new life in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She sang it when she rocked her baby boy to sleep. It was a part of her she wanted to pass on. And you know what? The little boy learned that song. One day he stood in the choir loft and gazed at the glowing faces. Back straight, head high, heart and mouth wide open, he sang. Let our rejoicing rise, high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. He kept on singing. He sang it when he came back from World War II and faced discrimination. He sang it when he joined the NAACP. He sang it with his wife to his baby daughter as he rocked her to sleep. It was a part of him he wanted to pass on. And you know what? His little girl learned that song. Then came the day that broke the nation's heart. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed. The next morning, she saw her teacher cry. Sobs replaced singing, then whispers and silence. Who would lead them now? The song whispered an answer. Back straight, head high, heart and mouth wide open, she sang. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. And she kept on singing. She sang it at the protests for equal rights and when she and her friends were jailed. She sang that song in her heart each time she won or lost a case as a lawyer. She sang it to her baby boy as she rocked him to sleep. It was a part of her she wanted to pass on. And you know what? Her little boy learned that song. Every family reunion opened with that anthem. He sang it because he had to at first. Sing a song full of hope that the present has brought us. But he kept on singing. He sang it at his college graduation and when he opened his first business. He sang it at rallies to stand up against racism. And he sang it when he rocked his daughter to sleep. That was a part of him he wanted to pass on. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. And you know what? That song is a part of you. Sing when you score a victory. Sing when tough times get you down. Sing and think of all the people who sang before you. Keep singing. Keep pushing. Keep passing it on. Keep on keeping on.